Hello, boys and girls. I'm really excited to teach you today about a very special type of painting. It's called pointillism. And that's the word pointillism right up there. The artist who invented pointillism, his name is George Seurat. And he was alive in the 1800s and he lived in France, George Seurat. Mr. Seurat painted this painting right here, which I hope you took a look at in my activity. There's a 3D version of it where you can actually zoom in and you can see what pointillism is all about. In this picture, I'll pick up my camera and get really close so you can see all the different dots that Mr. Seurat put in his painting. And that's what his artwork was all about. He was all about using dots and he was really into color and combining colors together just with dots. He didn't take paint and mix it the way that an artist usually does. He didn't spread paint and smooth it. He used only dots and lots of them. So for your art project, I'm going to be giving you some ideas on how to create your very own snowy scene, a snowy masterpiece. It's supposed to snow a lot coming up this winter, right? And we're so lucky to live here in Connecticut where we get a lot of snow and snow is so beautiful. Mr. Sherrod did paintings of nature in the outdoors and many artists still paint snow today. So this is an example of the beginning of my pointillism painting. All I needed was some white paint, black paper, and something to make dots with. Now your finger is a great tool to make dots with. So is an eraser dipped in paint. And so is anything that is round and small, like a Q-tip, this is a straw, um, anything you can think of that you might wanna try that you can also hold onto. A paintbrush works too. Paintbrushes are a little bit trickier because they are squishy, so they may change the size of the dots as you go. Okay, so we're not painting this today using normal painting techniques. We're going to practice the technique and the style of a pointillism painting, just like Mr. Seurat has invented. So I'm just gonna pick up my camera and show you nice and close some of the details that Mr. Seurat has here. There's a lot of great things in this painting. There's people, there's trees, there's animals, and you can really see there's so much texture and so many tiny marks, so many. And he put colors together that you might not think of. And even though we're just using the color white today on black paper, we're gonna get a lot of the same effects. Up here in this corner, you can see some really nice mark making and some tiny little marks. Every single mark you see is put on by Mr. Seurat using a paintbrush. I'm thinking that might have taken him a very long time. And that's actually a really big painting too. If you go to the Chicago Museum, some of you might have been there, some of your parents might have seen it in real life too, or your grandparents. And it's a big painting. It's much bigger than this one. So all I need to do to create my snowy pointillism painting is dip my tool in a little bit of paint. So I have a little cup here. Just dip it in and then I just dot it on my artwork, okay? So over here, hopefully you can see my little snowman. Over here, I was working on creating a snowman in my winter scene. And all I need to do is take my paint tool and just pick up my tool. Sometimes I have to get more paint though. Just like when you're using a paintbrush, you start to run out. So let me put it down here and show you. It's much easier to do it if it's down on a table, okay? And then I'm gonna fill it in. And this part is easy. The part where you're trying to draw a shape is a little bit trickier, but filling it in can be quick. You just keep getting more paint and just keep filling it in with little tiny dots. Let me show you a close-up of how this looks. So many dots, so many dots, <laughs> and it's really fun. Take some time though. So once your paint is dry 
and you've done all your dots, then you can actually take a marker or a crayon and you can add other colors, other details, maybe give your snowman some arms or a little carrot nose with an orange crayon. If you have lots of colors of paint, then you could paint them on using pointillism and make little dots to make the nose and little dots to make the arms. And when your pointillism painting is all finished, find a very special place to hang it because you just did something pretty amazing. When Mr. Seurat came up with pointillism back in the 1800s, people were very surprised. And some people actually didn't really like his style of art because he didn't use traditional techniques with smoothing and mixing paint. But nowadays we look at it and we realize what he did was pretty amazing and very unique and really quite lovely. You know, if it's a snowy painting too, you may want to use your pointillism technique to give your painting a little bit of falling snow. Maybe it's a gentle snowfall. Maybe it's a blizzard where you're gonna get 10 feet of snow, who knows? And making snow in the sky really adds a nice, extra, beautiful look. But look how many dots. Have a great time creating your pointillist painting. I can't wait to see all of your masterpieces. Bye.